yourself and yeah um my name's Josie I'm from Sydney Australia I'm 22 and I'm still a student <laughs> but okay. what do you want to know yeah 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 just like a short little introduction to yourself so yeah that was pretty good it was pretty cool okay let's see um with Instagram do you have like a certain like a uh, way or aesthetic or like type of way that you kind of try to organize your Instagram feed um yeah for sure so I used to like post as much as I could so like definitely wasn't an oversharer but um recently I just went through and archived like all the photos that I didn't like so now I've only got like 46 photos of like the highlights of my year kind of thing it's pretty cool it's pretty cool uh was there like someone that you kind of like modeled by or like someone that you kind of like used for inspiration to get your like certain feed or was it just something that you kind of like just acquired over through the years um yes so i'm just looking through my archives now and it's definitely changed a lot since when i first started um, I think a lot of people's feeds change a lot from when they first start. And I really admire people who like keep all their old, old photos up. Cause you know how like sometimes you look, you think you look really good in a photo. And then like a couple years later, you're like, what was I thinking? Um, yeah, I, I definitely understand. I don't even know where I was. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> forgot what I was even saying in the beginning, but yeah, I used to post photos of like, you know, how I make macarons and, like, my cat, my boyfriend's cat, sorry. And now it's just, like, a bit narcissistic, to be honest. But, you know, it's my Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, going through my feed, a lot of people, like, influence me. I look at other people's photos. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's such a nice background. That's such a cool pose. Um, I like their vibe. And, I don't know, either consciously or subconsciously, you end up, like, emulating the people that you follow you feel most definitely uh what do you use to take your photos do you use your iphone do you use like a dslr uh what, what do you uh, generally use yeah i use my iphone and it's usually either my boyfriend or my sister taking my photos um because i think i tried to use a camera once and it just looked way too overdone that's just not really my aesthetic so it's like no i'll just stick with my iphone <laughs> uh what do you use to edit your photos with um so mostly photoshop fix to give it like a um so like to smooth the skin and facetune for like um if i want my eyes to be darker for like details and like sharpness and stuff those are the two mainly. And then I just use the um, Instagram app for the filter. So you use, uh, so you use photo, wait, what, what do you use? Photoshop? What was that? It's an app called Photoshop Fix. Okay. You I can actually, like smooth your skin. I, yeah. I've, I actually have never heard of Photoshop Fix. That's definitely the first I've ever heard of that. Usually I hear like people use like Visco or I've definitely heard of Facetune. So I'm definitely new to that app. So. So what do you, um, yeah, yeah, what do you do on that so application? Um, I'm just trying to remember. Okay, so here you've got peeling. So like if you have like, um, you know how sometimes your skin has like blemishes on it? Just like um, mimic the texture surrounding your skin and just get rid of um, like a pimple. And then there's also smooth, which I use a lot. <laughs> to just make everything smoother that's that's the main ones okay that's pretty cool that's pretty awesome and they use also use the instagram filters and stuff like that yeah um just to make you know the um the feed more cohesive i like having more like a ready undertone for um like photos that are darker that's pretty cool uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Instagram TV? I know that's like a new uh, new thing on Instagram. What are your thoughts on it? I actually haven't checked it out at all. Like, what is it? Isn't it just stories, but longer? Uh, no, Instagram TV is um, a platform where you can upload 
vertical videos up to an hour. So you can upload a 10 minute video, a two minute video, a three minute video. You can upload any vertical content uh, up to like an hour. So it's pretty much like YouTube on Instagram. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. That's funny. I think Instagram is, yeah, I think they're doing a really good job with this. So remember when that first came out, everyone was like, oh, Instagram is just copying Snapchat. I don't know. I just never have felt the urge to but we'll see how it goes. People might fall out of out of love with um, YouTube and switch over to Instagram TV. Do you know how no one uses Snapchat anymore? Yeah, I, I mean, it was, I remember when the, the first story broke out when they talked about the Instagram stories. I remember a lot of people were definitely bagging on Instagram and I feel like, I feel like people didn't really give it a chance and I feel like nowadays now yeah. people just don't really care anymore and I feel I felt like it was pretty cool. I mean, honestly, um, you know, most people do use Snapchat, but um, honestly, I don't really use it. Like, I mean, I didn't really need the need for it. Like, I had a bunch of people on Instagram already, so, and plus, I felt like the transition was kind of seamless. So, and I don't know. I felt like it was like yeah. real easy to use, and I, I, I mean, like, I I mean, for me, I just felt like it was just easier, and I don't sorry. know now. Oh yeah, sorry, it's all good. I, uh, yeah, but um. And it was just, I thought it was just more easy to use, so, and after, like, a couple months, people were, like, already using it, like, regularly, so, yeah. Like, what, yeah, what, they what, have, like, oh. the capacity to make all these features, so why not? I think that's a bit of a lag, that's why I'm, like, not sure if I'm cutting you off. <laughs> uh, oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, what, what did uh, some of your, like, friends' reactions just, when they were using um, Insta stories? My friend's reaction. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, it's just normal. It's just an extension of Instagram, I guess. I think Instagram story is cool because you get to see another side of people who post, like, you know, everyone's got, like, like really, um, really, like, manicured photos on um, Instagram, on their feed. And so I think Instagram story is, like, really good for people who also want to show, like, that they're not just this, like, airbrushed, like, person with no personality. Um, I don't know. I used to I used to use Snapchat a lot, but now I don't really use that. I sometimes post on Instagram story. I don't know. It's all right. I feel it. I feel it. So that's funny that you haven't checked out Insta Instagram TV. Most of the people that I've definitely talked to recently, are like yeah, like either they like it or um, they definitely like the the essence that you know some creators can definitely post on both and maybe reach both their audiences and stuff like that. So I think it's cool. I think the Instagram TV little thing is pretty cool. Um, hopefully, it can flourish. You know, what I mean, um, there's a little statistic that um, that I heard from Instagram that they uh, reached uh, a a billion users already so oh, was, wow. yeah already a billion i was like dang so they definitely have a lot of staying power on tv only uh no not on tv i'm talking about just like instagram as a whole so like uh, like 100 billion um instagram accounts so like they've already reached that milestone so i was like dang so i mean honestly <laughs> that's, um, that's a lot i mean i like hopefully maybe maybe instagram tv can definitely make a, a enough of a impact maybe Maybe YouTube will definitely have to like maybe change their platform or change something. So uh, I'm definitely here for it. I'm definitely here for any changes that they have. Um, I'm definitely happy with Insta stories. Like I mean, it's cool that you can post like gifs on your Insta stories and do whatever. So yeah. I'm for like any like updates that they put for their application. So I'm definitely happy about that. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. How old are you? Just uh, I'm, I'm, tw I'm 22. Oh, same. Um, cause I just feel like I just feel like when new stuff comes out, I'm a bit laggy to like hop on the trends. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that I'll check out Instagram story a little bit later. I haven't even done like a like a live on my Instagram before. Um, Snapchat I didn't adopt until like two years after when everyone was on it. Instagram I didn't have it at first. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I'm falling behind. Maybe I'll check it out after this. It's all good. I mean, it's all good. It, it just, I mean, I don't think even Instagram TV has been even out for like at least a week. So, 
I mean, it's okay if you're not on the wave already, so you're you're definitely cool. <laughs> you're chilling. You're fine. So you're, you're okay. It's not Must like relevant. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you've been out like for a month. Like, so you're you're cool. You're chilling. So that's pretty yeah. good. That's awesome. That's cool. Uh, since we were talking about video games earlier, uh, is Overwatch like the only video game that you you, you play since you have like a PS4? Since we were talking about uh, earlier. For sure. I yeah, I don't even play. Actually, I gave my PS4 to my boyfriend already because um, I was having, I was um, doing finals just before. So I was like, I don't want to tempt myself, um, gave it away. I only played Overwatch, but now I only watch Overwatch streams on Twitch. Um, I love this guy called Kabaji Senpai. He's so good. He just plays, um, plays my favorite hero all the time and his like tracking is insane so, yeah obsessed with it that's pretty cool it's pretty awesome so you had to give it to your boyfriend because uh you don't want to be distracted and uh yeah you want to keep your studies up but and you, stuff like that and you end up finding like different ways to procrastinate anyway that's what i found <laughs> yeah <laughs> it didn't yeah. really make a difference <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up that's cool yeah, that's cool that uh it's funny because um when i mentioned to like people about Twitch, uh, I mean, especially because I know I bring other people from Instagram from this to, to this platform, and it's funny that you know about Twitch. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. So it's huge, isn't it huge? Yeah, it's definitely. I know. Cause... Yeah, I mean, it's definitely huge, but I know some people still don't know about the platform for Twitch. Um, if I mentioned yeah. YouTube, of course, people know about YouTube, but uh, for some people, um, people don't know what Twitch is. So, yeah. Yeah. Cause you were like, oh yeah, I um I live stream the podcast on Twitch, and I was like, yeah. And then you started giving me an explanation of what it was. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. That's cool. I don't know. Some people know about it. Some people don't. It really depends who you talk to. And uh, yeah, since you know enough. about Overwatch and stuff like that, so it's uh, kind of a lot easier to to be able to relate to that. So, yeah, that's so cool. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what are your thoughts about social media as a whole? Do you think it's positive? Do you think it's negative? What are your thoughts on it? Um, I just think that it's just, it's a really great, um, platform full of opportunities, um, especially in like our very technologically driven society, but I also can see how it can really easily distort people's perceptions of themselves and like how they see other people. Um, I don't really mind it that like you know how a lot of um criticism of social social media is that um we're on our phones all the time we don't actually interact with each other um i personally don't really see that as a problem because uh me and my immediate friends groups like we're still able to live in the moment and stuff but definitely like seeing people's really perfect feeds um airbrushed images i don't know i think i can really easily see how um it can distort people's perceptions of beauty in themselves yeah i, I can definitely see that um i don't know i, I always like to ask people that question because um you know some people they definitely have a positive aspect and you know some people have a negative aspect when it comes to social media so it's always interesting to ask people so and then uh earlier we we're talking about um followers um because you know i was kind of shocked that you kind of responded back uh to my dm and stuff like that so uh you were you were talking about earlier that you don't really pay attention to followers it was kind of interesting well i definitely pay attention but um i just don't think that it's any reason like just because you have a particular amount of following i don't think it's any reason to see yourself in like a superior way or not saying that people do but um just you shouldn't see yourself differently just because you've got how, how many do I have like 20 something K because um, at the end of the day I don't know you're the same as everyone else I'm the same as everyone else I thought your um, podcast thing was really interesting and I wanted to do it yeah that's pretty cool yeah I mean it's it's weird I know I know a lot of people definitely perceive it a lot differently than other people um, I mean, I'm definitely happy about that. I mean, I've only had at least, you know, three people just ask me about, hey, I'll be interested only if you pay me so-and-so dollars. So, I mean, I'm happy about yeah. that. So, I've only had three out of, you know, however so many people that I've messaged. So, 
that's definitely a good right. thing. So, I mean, at least I haven't had, like, half of the people saying asking for money. So, I mean, so, yeah. So, that's... It's, it's definitely... however you want to use your own Instagram. But mm-hmm. I just don't think that I need... Uh, I don't know. That's not the trajectory for my Instagram, I guess. Yeah, that's what's up. I definitely understand that aspect. So, yeah. So, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate of that. So, um... What uh social media do you use? Do you use the most? Do you use Instagram the most? Snapchat the most? Do you use Twitter the most? Or maybe do you use YouTube the most? Uh, how does that go about? It definitely fluctuates. I I definitely wake up in the morning and just scroll through my entire Instagram feed, and um, that's the reason why I'm always ten minutes late for work, <laughs> ten minutes late for work, but whatever. <laughs> um. During the day, I post the most on Snapchat because, I don't know, I just go on it when I'm bored. And it's got heap, like heaps of really cool filters. Whoever is making the Snapchat filters, like, they need recognition. <laughs> I feel that, I feel it. I know a lot of people definitely use it, uh, use Snapchat only for the filters. I feel like, I feel like if Snapchat didn't have as many epic filters, I feel like not that many people would use Snapchat, to be honest. Yeah, because they sold out, and um, and it's just so many ads and, like, Daily Mail articles and, like, Cosmopolitan. I'm just like, go away. I just want the old Snapchat back. Uh, how did you feel about the new Snapchat update? I know a lot of people were definitely pissed off about that. How did you feel about it? Um, well, yeah. That's what I was saying. It's it's really annoying to see like um, articles about Kim Kardashian and like Bella Thorne and like really obscure celebrities as well. Like, do you know Demi Rose Morby? Like, they always write about her as well, and it's just so in your face. And I just want it to be what it was before, like a way to connect with your friends. Yeah, I definitely understand that. So, dang, that's crazy. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel by any chance, or no? Um, I do. Oh. <laughs> do you, like, make any content on there, or is it, like, just, uh, just a channel that you just watch YouTube videos on? Oh, uh, it's, um, so a lot of my friends for ages have been asking me for YouTube, um, because of makeup or whatever. And when I, when I finally made it, it was when I was super into Overwatch, and I would post, like, I would only been playing Overwatch on PS4 for, like, two months, and... Let me see if I can actually find it. It's so funny. I was like, roads to top 500. Um, me playing um, D.Va, like one of the easiest heroes. And everyone's like, what the hell? This is not what we asked for. I'm like, you guys wanted a YouTube channel. <laughs> I feel it. So it was in the direction that they were asking for. That's so funny. So you kind of just went into your own direction, not even makeup or nothing, not even tutorials. So that's super funny yeah because i was like <laughs> guys i'm gonna make it as a streamer this is what i'm gonna do for the rest of my life and now it's just dead like i think there were like i don't know seven views on each vote um on each video that's so funny so uh would you <laughs> be thinking about going into that direction of doing like tutorials and stuff like that or nah that's not for you um no nah, i don't think so don't you just think like youtube makeup it's just there's just too many people on it doing really interesting stuff but like how can you possibly keep up with um like so many people doing the same thing yeah i definitely i definitely feel it that's I, I mean honestly i feel like there's i feel like there's space for everybody to do their own thing honestly i understand that you feel that like it's kind of like saturated where you know there's already so many people doing their own thing um I mean, honestly, I mean, I feel like probably let's let's say uh, I feel like if you let's say if you went on your Insta story right now and you did you did a poll right now and you said, um, would you guys like me to do makeup tutorials on YouTube? And you just did yes or no poll. Um, what uh, you could probably do that right now today and you probably get like a, an instant reaction of how of what your followers would want, want to watch and stuff like that. So yeah Mm -hmm. well they'd probably say yes but it's like not what i want to do Uh i haven't i'm I'm so indecisive like i don't know what i want to do Mm -hmm. so that's it's the content that you want to do not necessarily like your followers want yeah i definitely definitely respect that respectable that's pretty awesome that's pretty cool that's awesome 
Uh, is there like a, any like future goals that you want to do with your Instagram or is it just like something that you uh, use yes. on your personal time? Um, yeah, so I used to try to kind of monetize it, but um, I think now I've just chilled out and I'll just take a photo if I'm looking nice and, um, and I want to like share it. Um, right now, I think my Instagram is just see how, see how I go with it. Like if it does grow, then happy to monetize on it. But for now, it's just like a reflection of my personal life, like the highlights of my personal life. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, I remember I was scrolling through your feed and, um, I saw you take, took a, a picture with, uh, was it Sean Kingston? How did, how did that, oh, com- yeah. how did that come about? How did that, how did that picture come about? So, um, I used to work for this company called Urban Agent. They run like um, Friday and Saturday Asian clubbing events. So I used to work there as like, um, what do you call it, like a host, just like um, at the door. Um, yeah, they get heaps of like celebrities coming through. Sean Kingston was one of them. Um, he was so nice. And who else? We had like Mario and. Jason, no, not Jason Derulo. A few K-pop ones, some people from Asia, um, sometimes import models come through. Like, I don't know if you follow that scene. Um, we had like Danny Real and um, yeah, people like that. That's how the photo came about. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, uh, I don't follow the import scene too closely, but I know who Danny Real is. I know who she is, so... <laughs> Yeah. She's the, she's the OG, hey. Yeah, most definitely. She's definitely the OG. So, that's what's up. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, because I was scrolling through your feed, and I was like, damn, I know who that dude is. So, that's pretty cool. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Um, usually, I ask my interviewers this, but um, do you have like any questions that you would like to ask me? By the way. Um. I mean, I did ask you a lot <laughs> before we started. <laughs> ah, okay, most definitely. Before we started. Uh huh. Um, hmm. what is your favorite restaurant in LA? Uh, f- favorite restaurant. Um, I don't know. I really don't go to like any like fancy restaurants. Honestly, something laid back. I like In and Out. Um, I don't know. It's just something yeah. that I always grew up with. Um, I mean, I mean, I know a lot of people definitely overhype it a lot. You know, I mean, I I I don't think it deserves that much of the hype. But um, yeah. I, but I think I think it's a, a chill, chill fast food restaurant that um uh, that I definitely like to enjoy going there. So definitely have decent um hamburgers and the fries are decent. But um, I feel like that's a chill restaurant that I like to go to. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to go and try In and Out compared <laughs> to like Australian burgers because I just feel like Australian food is so good. But everyone talks about like In and Out. Um, what else? What else do you guys have? Um, I'm keen to see if your Starbucks is any any better than ours because uh, everyone on YouTube hypes it up so much. I mean, honestly, Starbucks, it's all right. I mean, honestly, it probably won't be any different than yours, to be honest, if you guys have Starbucks out there. Um, it yeah, probably won't be any different. Um, in and out um, a lot of people do overhype hype it, hype it up just to let you know. Uh, so if you do eat... <laughs> At In and Out, and you are disappointed. Don't blame me. Uh, that's the people that overhype it a lot. So people yeah. think it's like super duper amazing. But I say they, they have some good burgers. I'm not gonna say it has the best burgers there, but I will say they have decent burgers. You know, and stuff like good that. Burgers, so yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess since we're in the food topic, uh, what are your like favorite? What's your like favorite type of food? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness okay so um i heard that america's kfc is not the best you have to come to australia and try the kfc it's so good they have the best chips do you guys have chicken salt in america um chicken salt we have we have like chicken seasoning um we have like i don't think chicken we seasoning? uh yeah we have chicken seasoning um i don't know about chicken salt but we have chicken seasoning, salt, oh like chicken, chicken flavoring, stuff like that. But we don't have like a, a chicken salt, but we do have chicken seasoning. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, everyone in Australia puts chicken salt everywhere. And it's, <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Um, 
what are my other favorite foods? Um, so KFC Wicked Wings, the KFC fries, the KFC potato and gravy. I love um, – do you guys have Portuguese burgers, like with, um, like, garlic sauce, um, chili sauce, and mayo? Um, I don't think we have Portuguese burgers. If we do, then it would be, like, maybe – a Portuguese restaurant, but I don't think we have Portuguese burgers. Not necessarily. What about like Lebanese charcoal chicken? Uh, it would have to be a Lebanese restaurant too. So I mean, we don't we don't have that on deck. So I mean, but yeah, towards to, to your point about KFC, uh, yeah, um, in other countries is a lot better. Uh, KFC in our like countries, like whatever, it's kind of basic. So. Like, I would definitely love to try a KFC in a different place. Because, like, I've heard, like, different KFCs, like, in other countries. Like, in let's say in an Asian country, they, like, serve it with, like, rice and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, like, what? They serve it with rice yeah. in other countries? Like, damn. Um, in our fried country. Fried chicken is so good with rice. Yeah, like, I like fried chicken, but I would not go to a KFC. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. Where would you go for fried chicken? Ooh, um, first, I would go to a, a family member because they can actually make fried chicken homemade so um but uh, if i'm going to like yeah. a, a restaurant um if you're talking about fast food i mean uh you could you could go to a popeyes or something like that but uh but i'd probably probably go to a family member if i was going to get some fried chicken uh to be honest because they can make it pretty well so i like that so yeah family can definitely make oh, some food wish, really good i wish mine could <laughs> yeah uh do you guys have a wing stop in australia no what is that um do you guys have a Buffalo Wild Wings? Do you have that in Australia? Like, as a, uh, as a chain? They, like, as a restaurant? Yeah, as a chain. Do you have that? Or, no. Uh, okay, uh, there's this place called Wingstop. It's, um, they serve, like, uh, wings. They serve, like, wings and stuff like that. Do you guys have, like, a like a chain restaurant that sh s only sells, like, wings? No. No? What? Dang. Uh, that would be that would be KFC. What? <laughs> no like, way. Oh chicken. my goodness. You guys are missing <laughs> out. What? No, but KFC what? is so good. No, you guys are missing out on wings, bro. You guys are missing out. Dang. Uh, well, I'll definitely I'll definitely visit a wing stop. <laughs> yeah, you guys have to definitely visit a wing stop if you're in, in what America. Kind, what kind of chicken is it? Uh it's like have you it's it's hard to describe, um, you haven't had like wings um like yeah crunchy I, or grilled uh or? it depends it depends i have to show you some pictures or something like that because uh, okay. it's hard to des des describe like uh like wings and stuff like that like have you had like <laughs> wings with like pizza or have you had that before or no wings on a pizza yes no like wings with pizza have you had that or like we have the option, but oh, I never pick it. Oh my gosh, you guys are missing out. That's crazy. Uh, my friend, he just said Aussies go on maca runs. Is that am I saying that right? M C C A. Oh, Aussies go on maca runs. Yeah, we go on maca runs. What's that? <laughs> what's what's maca? What's it's that? It's McDonald's. Oh, oh Macca. my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, maca runs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jesus yeah, because they're open like 24 hours. Oh my gosh, you guys are missing out, man. Oh, McDonald's runs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's not my fave. Oh, it's not your fave? Okay, cool, cool. Nah. I was thinking that was your fave. I was like, damn it, bro. No, 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 no. I was like, her I would go on KFC runs, but they close in the in my area. They close at 10. In some other areas, they they close at 12. Dang, for sure, for sure. Dang, I was about to say, I was like, damn, I don't know if this chick knows about food, man. I'm about to say. You guys don't even have Portuguese burgers. Oh Are you my telling gosh, me that we stop, don't have food? Stop. I mean, we, at least we have that hamburgers, like, it, at the most. So don't even, don't even, don't even trip. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, like, is, like, fried chicken, like, that's, like, your favorite food or? Um, I would say chicken's my favorite food. Oh, I've got so many favorite foods. Um, what else do I like? I actually can't tell. I love brunch. Just as a, as a pastime. Do you guys have brunch? Yeah, we have brunch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> You're about to ask us, do we even have brunch? Do you guys have pasta or something? Like, you like asking us like basic questions. Yes, we have brunch. Yes, we have that. Oh my gosh. Uh, Sydney, Sydney and Melbourne have like a huge brunch scene. Uh huh. 
Uh, I mean, yeah. you'd have to go to like certain places, but we do have brunch. Like, if you type up like brunch places, you'll definitely find some, especially around in my yeah. area. So, dang. I mean, I like yeah. pizza. Or else I like pasta. Definitely go to town with pasta. Love pasta. Um, fried chicken is cool. It's just like everything. Yeah, I mean, if it's homemade, I'll, I'll definitely get some, you know, homemade fried chicken. I don't know. Um, do you like pizza? Do they have pizza uh, in, in Australia? Do they have that? Yeah, I like pizza, but it's not like everyone on social media is obsessed with pizza, but uh, it's okay. I like like Italian wood fired pizzas, not like Domino's. Like, what's the other one? Pizza Hut. I don't like those. Um, I feel it. I feel it. Commercial oven. Yeah, commercial, yeah. Those commercial are like oven ones. more chain stuff like that. So you're talking about like more Italian, more like yeah, kind of like kind of focus on the pizza, not like a chain restaurant. I, I feel it. I definitely understand yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, I definitely understand that aspect. So yeah, I mean, I like pizza. I'm not obsessed with it. You know, I mean, I'll definitely enjoy a nice slice of pizza. Um, definitely love pasta. Pasta is definitely my favorite. I don't know what else. What type? stuff like that um i'm trying to think like i just love i, I like, eat a, I, I love eating food so i mean i definitely love food so that's what i was gonna say it's like i love food like every night before i go to sleep well not every night but sometimes i'll be watching like gordon ramsay's like um kitchen nightmares the other night i was scrolling through my kfc app seeing what i wanted to eat the next day um i love watching do you have master chef you have like a american master chef hey yeah, uh, are you talking about like uh, Iron Chef of America or something like that, or are you talking about uh, Master? I, I think you guys have like a legit like Master Chef with Gordon Ramsay on it. Oh, but I don't think it's very good, but the Australian one's really good. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking about like a TV show. My bad. You're talking about Gordon Ramsay. Okay. No, <laughs> it, is, uh, it is a TV show. No, uh, f like Master Chef. Is it like? Um, yeah. I don't, I mean, I know, like, Iron Chef of America or, like, Iron Chef, but I don't know about Master Chef. I don't know about that. I'll have to look that up. Maybe look. it's in the UK. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. For sure, for sure. Um, my friend <laughs> Shiki, he said, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. No. See, thank you. Thank you. You actually, oh, no. thank you. Thank you. You're a reasonable person that knows that pineapple <laughs> should not be on pizza. Okay, here's the, okay, I don't, I don't care. I'll eat it, but I'm just saying... Uh, personal preference, I would just say leave that and just eat pineapple by itself. And uh, I love pineapple, but once it's warm, it's like yeah, gross. I don't know. It's just I just don't I don't enjoy it. Like I, I'll eat it. Like you know, what I mean, it's whatever. I'll. It's not like it's not like it's like the grossest thing I've ever eaten. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying like I don't think it belongs on the pizza, man. With like whatever ham or something. I know it's supposed to be called Hawaiian pizza, but. I don't know. It just what doesn't do you, belong What there. do you usually get on your pizza? Oh, uh, it's funny. Uh, I usually get, like, bacon and, like, some either, like, sausage or either pepperoni. But, I mean, that's, like, me if I'm getting, like, a personal pizza by myself. But if I'm ordering pizza, you know, of course, I'm just going to get the classic pepperoni and maybe some sausage mm. or stuff like that. So, but uh, I've tried, like, you know, bacon and, like, extra cheese and stuff like that. So, that's, like, me. That's, that's usually that's how. That's so... That's so like that's such an American response. Like <laughs> we have this, we have this pizza here um, at this really good Italian restaurant. Um, it's called. Wait, hang on, what do they have? They've got um, wood fired pizza base, red sauce, um, like a truffle sausage, um, and basil, mozzarella, and no, actually no mozzarella, basil and buffalo mozzarella. Mm. It's so good. And they don't cook the buffalo mozzarella. It's like the cold, like refreshing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't think I, not necessarily. Like, I, I understand what you're talking about when it comes to the pizza. But um, if I was supposed <laughs> to, no, if I was supposed to like order that, I would have to go to like a, a personal, like maybe pizza place that's not a chain restaurant. I don't think you can order that yeah. at like a, you know, a Pizza Hut or a Domino's. But like if you're going to yeah. like a, a place that specializes in pizza then yeah i think you could definitely order that so yeah i'm so excited to see how different like you guys's food scene is to ours uh-huh that's what's up that's pretty cool uh my yeah. friend uh she just said uh that you're really pretty uh she oh, she, has, she streams and stuff like that so yeah so 
She streams. What does she stream? Um, send her um send her username. Uh yeah. Uh Serene, uh you can post your your Twitch in in the channel uh, if you can do that. Um and uh yeah, I I've only watched like a couple streams, so I'm not too sure. But uh Serene, can you type your, your Twitch uh in the the channel please? So there's no like um no link restrictions in in my channel, so I'll just post it when you get a, cha a chance, so uh, it's twitch.tv Sereni. Uh, well, just look up S R E. Well, S R E. Oh well, you can just, wait. Can you see? Can you see it in the chat? You, I think you have your. Do you have the oh, your yeah. Twitch open or? Oh, I didn't even see that there were people talking. Yeah, about there it. were people talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't see people talking. They were talking the whole time. So, yeah. Oh. Do you see the Do you see the channel or no? Yeah, I see it. I see okay, it. cool. Most stuff. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's cool. Interesting. All right. Yeah, and if you guys have questions for her, let me know. Um, yeah, my my friend Chicky said yes. People talking here, I'm surprised as well. So, <laughs> so hey, Serena, sh stop, stop, Serena, stop. Don't, don't, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm not she plays Fortnite. Uh, yeah, she plays Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't don't ki don't kill me, Serene. Don't kill me right now. I'm not feeling too well, so don't kill me with the spelling right now. <laughs> so right. yeah, I know. Don't kill me with the spelling right now. Don't don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, don't kill me with the spelling. Sorry, but uh, yeah, we're talking about favorite foods and stuff like that. So yeah, so <laughs> so my boy Shiki was definitely uh getting me earlier because I said I asked you if you guys had pizza in Australia. So. He's giving me a hard time. <laughs> no, I, I was asking a genuine question because, like, honestly, I don't know how people act in Australia, so I don't know. So, so excuse me if I'm never. I love never... how you said. Yeah, what were you gonna say? Aussies going marker marker rooms. Oh no, that was my my friend uh, Shiki said that. Uh, he said that I didn't say that. So yeah, I didn't know what he was talking about. So I was just like, oh, I guess that's a word. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just your pronunciation. Oh, my Not bad. Really. Yeah, sorry, my bad. So, yeah, that's so funny that we bounced the topic to food. That's super, super funny. So, yeah. So, uh, food is just you know, food is the best. Life. Yeah. Food is life. Yeah, pizza is definitely good. And uh, we were talking earlier, Serene. Um, she uh, she play she used to play some Overwatch and stuff like that, but she doesn't play that much anymore since she gave her PS4 to her her boyfriend. But uh, she does watch some like Overwatch streams and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. Just get on it, and I'll watch you. <laughs> <laughs> Most of I'll definitely pick up Overwatch. Does she like pineapple on pizza? No, no, she doesn't. So I'm happy about that. So, <laughs> no. Do you like pineapple on pizza, Serini? Cause I, bro, we're gonna have some problems. Do you make me going? Do you make me going with soup as well? Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's just uh, that's cool. Uh, what are your music tastes? What how how's your music taste? Um, uh, my music taste pretty bad, I think. It's like just the mainstream stuff, stuff that I hear on the radio. <laughs> I guess. Oh okay. I was I was thinking it was like oh I only listen to like R and B or hip hop or something like that. You're like I only listen to the radio. Blah blah. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> That's uh, like the radio and like songs play on the radio as well. Like I like pop, I like R and B, I like do you guys listen to hard style? Uh that's like uh guys... EDM, right? Is that EDM or Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People listen yeah. to EDM. I don't listen to EDM per se because uh I kinda just stick to my, my range of hip hop and then a little bit of dash of R and B and stuff like that. So Yeah. 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 Uh I don't know. Yeah, my girl Serini said, I don't like warm pineapple. Pineapple is supposed to be cold. Yeah, most stuff. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> pineapple is not supposed to be warm. So, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, were you one of those people that was listening to the, the new Drake album last night? Or, or you were like, whatever? No. Yeah. Nah, I'm just, I'm not very, like, like I told you before, I'm a lagger. I'm not very on it. Mm -hmm. Not very, um, not very up to date. 
I feel it. I feel it. Um, my girl Serena said. Did you said, listen to it? What was it good? Uh, no, I haven't listened to it. I actually haven't. I'm not like a big Drake fan. Um, and plus, I was hanging out with my boy Richard, so I didn't really have time to uh to listen to the album. And I was plus I was playing Fortnite, and actually we went out to go eat. So he's a good friend of mine. That, um, we, me and him were both on the high school track team together. So we have. Oh, nice. Yeah, we haven't seen each other in like a, a long while. So it was good to like catch up with him. So. Yeah, that was Do you pretty... still go to high school? What uh, what, oh, what no, I uh, I graduated like four years ago. Uh, I was going to, to college for like three years and a half. And uh, yeah. I kind of taking a break right now from school. Um, it was kind of yeah. it was kind of stressful. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I just needed a break from school. It was just it was stressing me out, man. And it was really taking a toll on my health, mental health. And right. uh, it was just, yeah, it was just it was just taking a toll on my mental health. And I don't know. I wish I took a break sooner, like like let's say like my freshman year or something like that, not like my my senior year. Um, I was supposed to yeah. graduate this year, but um, I just needed a break, and school was just not treating me right, man. It was just um, I don't know. I just had a, a couple bad semesters, and it was just like it was not too good for me. So yeah. I feel you. Yeah. I'm super burnt out as well, mm -hmm. which is why I'm kind of glad that I'm gonna do a semester abroad and yeah. um doesn't doesn't matter like what nominal mark you get because it's just pass or fail grade mm -hmm. pass or fail so i hope i don't fail yeah i definitely, um, I definitely understand I that so uh my girl Srini, she said uh edm does she rave do you, yes you do rave okay does she uh Serini, do you rave at all cuz I don't I don't go to raves. Raves are expensive. Expensive like nearby. In my in my town in California, um they could cost you around to 100 to 200 to maybe 300 dollars a ticket to go to an EDM. Really? Yes, they're pretty expensive in Cali or like in Las Vegas. So they're pretty expensive. I'll save my money. I'm, I'm going good. to um Oh yeah, well, I don't go to that many, but Australia's pretty expensive for pretty much everything. Like, um, where did we go recently? We went to the Midnight Mafia, the ticket it was 160 something for the ticket. And then when you go in there to buy like a bottle of water, it's $5. Uh -huh. And um, they don't take like card or cash anymore. They, you go through like a token system, which um, is like a wristband. It costs $3 to put money on the wristband and then like, I don't know, like surcharge fees on top of that. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I definitely understand how like people, um, things can definitely be overpriced on like when it comes to raves and stuff like that. It's the same. It's just the same thing here, and uh, I definitely, yeah. I definitely understand that aspect. Um, I don't know. It's um, I'm just not like I, I understand like EDM. Like some EDM is really good. Some of it, it's just like I don't know. I feel like it's a lot harder to get into, and I feel like for me. In my sense, my knowledge of like EDM, I feel like it's more underground for me, and uh, I don't know. I feel like people, if you go to raves and stuff like that, you'll definitely go to see your favorite artist. But um, I don't know. It's just not for me. Um, I mean, I know there can be stuff yeah. that they can definitely be for me, but like going to it, it's just like it's too expensive, man. For especially for my expense, and I don't know. I feel like it's just too yeah. expensive for me. Yeah. So yeah. Uh I feel like because Sydney is so expensive that when I go to the rest of the world and if it's like roughly the same like um, lifestyle that I won't be so shocked at the price, which is kind of good, kind of bad. But yeah, Sydney is really expensive to be with. That's what's up. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Uh, my girl Serena, she just said, um, she said, let's rave together. <laughs> yes, I'm going. I'm going to Dream State. In San Fran. That's what's up. That's pretty cool. Uh, Shiki said, uh, Sydney is expensive? Question mark? Question mark? Is, yes. is Sydney expensive? It is quite expensive. Um, aren't we on like heaps of articles saying how um, like our rental prices are so expensive, house prices are over like $1 million in Sydney? That's crazy. That's definitely crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course, like, back in the day, uh, you know, things never used to be that expensive. But um, yeah. I don't know. I've, it's weird because when I see articles, you're, like, blaming millennials, like, yo, you guys can't afford this, <laughs> that, and the third. And I'm like, bro, 
Like, excuse me? Like, things never yeah. used to be this expensive when my dad was doing this or my mom was doing this. So, I mean, so, yeah, yeah. I definitely understand that aspect. So, yeah. Like, even, it, even taking into account, like, wage growth, inflation, all that, like, it's still a lot more expensive now mm -hmm. for us to, like, afford property. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Most of. Um, you just said you have to go eat soon. Um, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any last-minute questions, uh, ask them away, because I know she has to go eat soon. Uh, good thing I hit you up a little bit earlier than intended. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, someone said Sydney is hella expensive. It's, like, the fourth most expensive city in the world. Um that's pretty awesome that's pretty cool so and then a plenty of <laughs> countries are a lot more expensive yeah yeah most mm -hmm. of so yeah man thank you guys for coming out i really appreciate that um thank you for coming out too i appreciate um just you saying yes to the doing the podcast that was pretty chill and my pleasure this was so fun yeah yeah thank you guys i really appreciate that uh somebody just gave me my friend pb he said the 2018 cost of living uh ranking one is hong kong Number two, Tokyo. Number three, Japan. Uh, no, number no, number huh? two. Tokyo, uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Number three, Zurich, <laughs> uh, Switzerland. Four, Singapore. Number five is Seoul, South Korea. Oh, please put me put me on there, so Six so is I'm not lying. <laughs> Luanda, Angola. Seventh is Shanghai, China. Number eight is Chad. Uh, number nine, Beijing. Uh, Where's Sydney? Number ten, Bern, Switzerland. Eleven. Geneva, Switzerland, 12. Where's Aussie? I don't think Aussie's on the list. Where is that? Is Aussie even? Australia's not even on the list. That's so funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, was, I look like a liar now. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's super duper funny. Yeah, somebody said that's a copy and paste from Google, LOL. Somebody said that's <laughs> according to CNN. I don't know. Uh, you probably could be more, you're probably more accurate than uh, maybe than PB, uh, copying it from google so uh <laughs> so yeah it's so expensive like it's come, here, come here and you'll see <laughs> yeah that's so funny so yeah so yeah if you guys don't have any like last minute questions uh yeah thank you guys for coming out to the stream and uh yeah it said <laughs> bruh sydney is mad expensive it costs like five bucks for a flat white what's a flat white do you know what a coffee flat oh coffee oh i didn't know that was meant for flat white okay for sure, for sure. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. But 50, five bucks? Five bucks for coffee? That's crazy. Yeah, dang. That's crazy. But, um, yeah, thank you for coming out. I appreciate that. I know you have to go eat soon. But, um, yeah, thank you, though. I really appreciate uh, you saying yes to the podcast. So that was pretty cool. Thank you, though. I appreciate Thanks that. Thanks for having me. No problem. No problem. This is a dope, chill conversation. And um, I appreciate you coming out and just being chill. So, I mean, I, I really appreciate that. So, yeah yeah this was fun yeah thank you yeah have a good have a good time um going out with you know, whoever so thank you i appreciate that okay thanks andrew yeah no problem no problem <laughs> it was it was a good chat <laughs> cool um and if you need to know how to um to disconnect uh if you see that um that phone icon with the x that's how you disconnect all right sweet cool most stuff cool 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 all right talk soon okay i'll talk to you later though thank you appreciate it Bye. Bye.